Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about two workout programs that completely suck. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link down below. All right, there's many workouts that suck. I mean, a lot of workouts we can put together when we're young and naive and don't understand programming, and they suck. And we go to a commercial gym and we see a lot of workouts that suck, right? Sometimes you just walk into a commercial gym and half the time you're sitting there in between sets just going, what the living f am I looking at? So we used to sing workouts that suck, but I want to give you guys, I want to talk seriously here for a minute and give you guys something to think about when it comes to programming from internet gurus and fitness salaries. This is a serious conversation. It really has to do with the cancerous mindset that is black or white, things at the opposite ends of the spectrum. When it comes to building muscle, the safest and best place you can be is kind of in the middle area, kind of around convention, where most of the good things happen. If you find yourself at an extreme, this is usually where you get into trouble. An extremist in the muscle building and the fitness industry are really people we want to avoid. By carrying one set to a point, of momentary muscular failure. And having achieved that by going to failure on one set, it is neither necessary nor desirable to do another set. They latch onto one concept, one idea, and they elevate it into the holy grail. And meanwhile, they pull people off track, waste people's time, etc., etc. So, what the living am I talking about? What two workouts should you completely avoid? All right, here they are, workout number one, the workout where someone tells you to only do the big four, right? Only focus on the big four, maybe a couple other pieces and parts under the hood other than the big, other than the big four. Maybe you're allowed to do pull-ups, or maybe you're allowed to do, I don't know, barbell ropes or something, right? But when you have a program that's like, only do the big four, only do the barbell exercises, Focus on the big four. That is a holy grail for muscle building. That is a holy grail for strength building. It's not. Avoid this program. It completely sucks. It has no balance. It's completely ingrained. It's completely saturated by the cult of barbell. Yes, the barbell is a, <laughs> is a great tool. But if we elevate it as, into some form of like God tier piece of equipment, like you should only do barbell exercises, we're just kind of being silly. And that goes not just for muscle building, but for strength training as well. If you think to build a quality strength base, you only should do barbell exercises. Your train, your choo-choo is way off the tracks. The newest way to be a pussy, you guys are all a bunch of pussies. There is such a thing as a pussy, and you are a pussy. Now on the other end of the spectrum, you have all these douchebags, all these internet gurus, all these e-experts, right, that are out there telling you not to do the big four, to avoid the barbell exercises. So the other program that completely sucks is the program that you're being told not to do the barbell exercises. Don't do those. Squats, deadlifts, overhead press. Don't do those. Don't do the bench press. They suck and aren't great for hypertrophy. Bullshit, right? So if you have a guru, an internet expert, right, uh, a YouTube celery that's telling you a fitness, oh, let's not forget the fitness influencer that's telling you to avoid the big, juicy, beefy barbell exercises, he's smoking, or maybe she's smoking a little crack. Avoid the meth heads and their programs that tell you to avoid the big compound movement. So here we have the two ends of the spectrum. We have the the crackhead meth head uh, influencer who's telling you to avoid the big compound barbell movements. And the cultist, the barbell cultist, the elitist, the barbell's the only way. And the barbell makes me excited, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, those types of guys. 
You, they're at the opposite end of the spectrum. Only focus on the big four, maybe a couple other exercises, or never focus on the big four because they're inferior for hypertrophy or muscle building, etc. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.